I hope this brings some closure to them. Obviously, we can't do anything to bring Kay back. Derek Harrison escorted out of a courthouse in Kemmer, Wyoming, after being sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for the murder of UTA employee Kay Ricks. 23-year-old Harrison pleaded guilty to killing 63-year-old Ricks. In exchange, prosecutors agreed not to seek the death penalty. New specialist Shara Park is in Wyoming and tells us how a statement from the Ricks family actually changed how Harrison planned to handle this hearing. Well, good evening. The Ricks family was not in attendance for today's sentencing, but prosecutors say this is the sentence that they wanted. They did not want to have to relive the horrific details of K. Rick's death by going to a death penalty trial. DJ Harrison showed very little emotion in the courtroom today and no emotion as he was escorted out of the courthouse. DJ had planned to give a statement today, but changed his mind after hearing a statement written by Lori Ricks, K's wife, which was read by the family spokesperson. But she wanted to know that even though that they do forgive him, they uh, wanted him to understand that he still chose the actions and at any time could have uh, made different decisions and perhaps compelled his father to make different de decisions that, that may have saved Kay's life. It was one year ago today that the beaten body of Kay Ricks was found in Wyoming after DJ and his father Flint kidnapped him from a UTA substation in Salt Lake City. It was prior to that that the two were convicted of kidnapping a Centerville woman and her daughters. Flint Harrison killed himself in jail after the two were caught, which prosecutors say influenced their decision not to seek the death penalty. Prosecutors say DJ is now headed back to Utah to continue serving his sentence for that Centerville kidnapping, which started this crime spree. Of note here at the courthouse today, there was some cheering at the end of the sentencing, and as DJ was being brought out of the courthouse, we later learned it was the woman he kidnapped that was cheering. In Kemmer, Wyoming, Shara Park, KSL 5 News. Shara, thank you. Police are